my name's Mark Haitley. I run the family business. We are chemical manufacturers in the cleaning industry. Yeah, in my spare time, we do a lot of fishing, um, both my son and I and his mates. Uh, we do a lot of hunting, um, so we're pretty outdoorsy kind of a family. Um, we do everything together with my father. Uh, he's, he still hunts and fishes with us, and, and yeah, we have a good time. Yeah, great. This is my 2400 uh, Stabycraft, and my father and I bought matching boats. Uh, we went to the Melbourne Boat Show, funny story, and I was talking to Hadley Deegan there, and we were sitting in one just having a chat, and Dad said to him, how much one of these, mate? And then the um, conversation got going and said, how much for two? <laughs> we want two matching stabies. Yeah. The fuel tank in the boat is uh, 300 litres, and the beam of the boat's 2.3, I believe, and the length is 7.3 or 7.4. Safety, really. Uh, safety, and because my father had one well before I did, and he had a 659, and it was just the ride. Compared to any other plate boat that I've had, uh, the ride in these is exceptional for an aluminium boat. Uh, and just the workability, the room in them. Uh, love the, the cabin, uh, especially when you get a day like we had yesterday. It was fairly snotty, and you sort of, you want to get up there and be warm and dry, and this is, and you can do it. And these things, they're a truck. They will handle anything. You've got to have a pie heater down here in Tassie. It gets a bit cool, you want a hot lunch, so we run, run uh, little 12 volt pie heaters and um, do everything from roast, roast meat rolls to pies, sausage rolls. It's, yeah, they're, they're an essential part of boating. <laughs> uh, we started out in St Helens and we, we went to drop for a sword. Magical day, it was just uh, dead flat, beautiful day. We didn't have any success and we came down to Eagle Hawk next Saturday night at breakneck speed to get here for tea. <laughs> so they were gonna cut the mules off on us. Um, third day, we went out chasing uh, bluefin tuna barrels. And it was a tough day on the water because it was quite windy and rough. And the fourth day, we had managed to stag a few fish off the back of Tasman Island. Um, horrendous day on the water. <laughs> and we had just continual white water over the top of the boat. Um, and it was, yeah, it was, I had a bit on, so yeah. But we got nice fish, everyone had a good time. Yeah, all safe, back home, it's good. Uh, this boat here has arrow filled pontoons, I've got the arrow filled pontoons, but they're, uh, they're foam filled, so it deadens the sound of the water on them. But also, the, the, the pontoons, when you're in a following sea, seem to right the boat. They, there's no broaching whatsoever, so you can run down the front of a wave and it'll just push straight through. It's, it's really the most stable boat I've been in. And, uh, and, and you just feel safe, because we, we were running down some pretty big sea yesterday and it didn't move an inch. Yeah, it was, it's, it, it's a, just a tank of a boat, really is. The coastline at Eagle Hawk Neck, um, it, it's, it's a, a very sheer cliff line, uh, up to 200 odd metres, and it, it is really spectacular, especially you get the right light in, in certain days. Uh, and you're fishing so close here, uh, you're probably within Five minutes of leaving the boat ramp, you can have lures in the water and catch 100 kilo tuna. Uh, but you, and you're doing it up against the cliffs, like 50, 20, 30 metres off the cliffs. So it is, it is very spectacular coastline. Well, the gear I've got on the boat, uh, I've got a Gen 2 250 E-Tech, um, and it's, it's a great motor, but a little bit noisy, especially with the cabin, because the cabin does suck it in a little bit. Um, it's probably one of the most economical motors I've ever had. You know, at, at, at a, a trawling speed of about 12 kilometres an hour for tuna, you're really using about 6.8 litres an hour. Um, with 300 litres, you can fish a week and not have to refuel. Uh, we've done some massive runs in the last four or five days, and we haven't, we've refu refuelled once. And you know, put 76 litres in it, so just to top it up. And we, we've got over half a tank left now. I've opted for the back deck here to have no live well, uh, live bait tank. I've opted for storage. Um, running forward, Simrad gear, I love the Simrad, Gen, uh, the Evo 2, and running a radar with it. Um, really just a good solid outfit. And the, the Simrad I find so easy, it's just like running an iPhone. Everything's, you know, the, the menus in it, fairly easy to use. Uh, the trailer underneath, it's a trans style trailer, and we, we actually looked at those at the Melbourne Boat Show, my father and I, and we just really liked it because it was solid. It's a nice I-beam aluminium trainer bolted together. Um, we opted for oil-filled bearings uh, rather than grease, simply because if you get any water ingress, you can actually see see where the oil goes milky, oil goes milky, so you can actually fix it before it becomes a problem. 
it's solid, it's tough. Yeah, really, I, I would have another one, definitely.